All right. Find a quiet place here. Istanbul Airport is not easy. You got this all right. So here's the story. I got eight hours here in the Istanbul Airport. It is midnight. I fly out at 8 a.m. en route to Croatia. But in the meantime, I'm gonna try to make the most out of this eight hours. The goal is to make my way around this big old airport and find somewhere to sleep, somewhere to eat, and somewhere to shower in the next eight hours. So come on with me and let's see what we can get into. Let's see what we can find. First, I'm in this back staircase here. They probably think I'm doing something weird, so I better move quickly. I don't wanna be a security threat. I just wanna take you guys on a little bit of an adventure in the airport in Istanbul before I get to Croatia. Let's go. Okay, first sign. That is what I want, sleep pods. So if you do have a shorter connection, there are just sleeping chairs or kind of lounge chairs, almost beach chairs, and those are free. There's big sections of those. So I'm searching for something more sustainable. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't have a big sweet tooth, but I do have two weaknesses. Well, three weaknesses. Donuts, my grandmother's chocolate chip cookies, and baklava. They have an unlimited amount of packaged baklava and fresh baklava here. So I gotta keep working. I gotta focus on the task at hand that's to find somewhere to sleep. No baklava. Maybe one, no, no, no. Lots of shops in here. What do you think? Does this work? Try it up right here. Does it snap? Yeah. Holy cow, this is too hot for me, but uh, this is a maybe, it's a maybe. All right, airport hack. Go to the duty free before you get on your flight or your transfer and put a little cologne on and the person sitting next to you will be very appreciative. You never want to be the stinky guy on the flight, you know what I mean? I never know how to say it. You, you Saint Laurent? How do you, how do you? You Saint Laurent. I never know how to pronounce it, but this is what I've always worn my whole life. Really, really good, but don't take it. Don't go buy this because this is my signature scent and I don't want everybody in the world using it, you know? Also, you can go to the really nice face lotions and put a little face lotion on so it fights against the really dry air that you have for a 13 to 27 hour flight. Come to the duty free for a nice layer of fine uh, face cream and a little cologne and you're ready for your connection. All right, I'm getting distracted. All right, there we go again. So I think we're going to D, sleep pods that direction. Okay, now I'm a little turned around. There's, I, all of a sudden they just stopped making the signs. It says where the sleep pods are. D is downstairs. Hmm, do I go downstairs? Oh, <laughs> and I'm looking all around it and you're making a decision and it's right in front of me. Look at this. There's D17 and then right in the middle here are your sleep pods right in front of us here. Looks like a, something from Jurassic Park, like a dinosaur incubator or something. Let's go see if they got space for us. Hello. Thank you. Um, I have a priority pass. What does that entail? Okay, so apparently it's midnight and everything is full, but they do have openings at three in the morning, so I'll come back then. Right now, I'll go to the IGA lounge because I am a priority, hi. I am a priority pass member. People just stare at you and I feel like if you call them out for staring at you when you're talking, they immediately stop. So in a popular place like this, like the airport, when you're a weirdo talking to the camera, you just acknowledge that you're a weirdo talking to a camera. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go to the IGA lounge, go check that out first, and then come back at 3 a.m. We'll see how we're doing at 3 a.m. to test out these sleep pods. Stay tuned, but first, IGA lounge. Uh, there it is. There's the IJ Lounge. I think we're going up. Now there's also another hotel. There's a Yotel Air here as well. I'm not gonna go stay in that. I wanna check out these pods. I actually thought I was gonna book a capsule hotel somewhere, but it turns out the capsule hotel is at the other airport here in Istanbul. I almost booked a room there or a pod there, and I'm glad I didn't. Oh, spa beauty slot. That's a pretty good gig. All right, here's the lounge. All right, I'm officially in the IGA lounge and this place is massive. So you can only use it for three hours at a time. So since I have eight hours, I'm gonna be in here for three hours, go try the pods out and then come back to shower. It's like a whole nother airport in here. What? 
showers, lockers here that you can store stuff, conference rooms, full bar over here, pool table right here, non-alcoholic area, and a whole kids area over there. Here's buffet number one. A lot of veggies here. Hot food station over here. Look, they even have wine down here. Unlimited beverages as well. This is always an interesting one. Got a nice uh, coffee station here. And look at this dining section over here. Look at it. There's even a piano. You even have a relax area here. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go look down there. Overlooking all of the common folks down below. <laughs> it's not nice. I just got this pass. I can very quickly go back to the common folk area. You don't want negative karma when you're flying. You'll get stuck in a middle row, middle seat. Flight updates everywhere. Bunch of TVs working right there. And these are the lounge areas. This is where you can come take a sleep. That's pretty cool. This is one of the biggest and nicest lounges I've ever been in. This makes the priority pass worth it. Sometimes you wonder, I'm not traveling a ton, you know, all the time, but this, having this right now, so I get the priority pass through my uh, American Express Platinum card. This isn't sponsored or anything, but I got the American Express card. There is a big annual fee, and sometimes I wonder if it's worth it, but if you use all the perks on a regular basis, like this lounge makes me feel like it's worth it. Look, you can see the whole airport down below. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. It makes the layover of eight hours a lot more comfortable. I gotta get some food. Full on vegetarian meal with some watermelon and some lentil soup this is the dinner of choice. All right, I do have a little spot here on one of the edges of the lounges. And if I needed to, I could put an eye mask on and crash here for a couple hours, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to go check out those sleep pods. So it's 2.45 right now. I'm gonna walk over there and try to get into a sleep pod. I'm gonna go try to get a snooze in. So let's go over there and see if we can get in now. Gotta go past the baklava again. Really tempting me with that baklava. Baklava. I'm not gonna do it though. Not gonna do it. Three, 3 a.m. still good? Right now, uh, we are full still. I was told if I came back at 3 a.m., I would. But uh, sometimes our guests stay small. Uh, it's a time at 3. That's what I asked. I asked for sure are we going to, is there going to be space and you said yes for sure there will be space. I would have I would have slept somewhere else. I would have slept somewhere else. I wouldn't have waited. I would have I would have stayed in the lounge. I would have found a spot in the lounge and I would have slept. Uh, that's why I made sure to ask. Okay, but uh, sometimes, rarely, or yeah, some that has to be has got to be said. Before. Let me check again. Okay, I'll come back. Okay. Three forty. Two. Three maybe. Number three, maybe. Okay. And then if someone come, do I, if I come at three forty-two on the dot, someone might come in front of me. I, how does it? How do, so I should wait here then. Okay. So I was just told that they are still full. The woman, in very broken English, said, "Come back at three o'clock, and beds will be open." And I said, I reiterated. I said, "Are you sure that's the case?" If I come back at three, because if they weren't sure, I would have just stayed in the lounge, found a place, and slept until the morning. But she said, no, there's definitely going to be beds open at three. So, of course, as I learned from travel, you can't always believe what everybody says. But then they said someone's bed is up at 342, but they don't do any wake up service. So, if the person keeps sleeping and doesn't have an alarm set themselves, then they just keep sleeping and then they just charge them for however long they slept. Interesting. I'm still gonna wait. We're still gonna try this out because I'm interested in it. But service, interesting. One interesting thing to note while I walk around aimlessly waiting for a pod to open up is all of the duty-frees and all of the shops, the stores, even the Hugo Boss stores, 
Sunglass Warehouse, they're all still open at 3 in the morning. Very interesting. Most airports around the world have hours of operation. Even the restaurants, some of the restaurants are open right now. Place is full service 24-7. Also, this is how you get free Wi-Fi. A scan your boarding pass. So if you're not in a lounge, there really is no place to get Wi-Fi, good Wi-Fi in the airport. What you need to do is go to one of the kiosks and you get one hour for free or you can purchase a package of Wi-Fi. But one hour for free, you just get a, a little uh, ticket here and then you put that in when you put in your Wi-Fi. So that's a little Wi-Fi hack for the airport. Let's find our sleep pods again. Back to the sleep pods. I made it. I finally made it in to the pods. Look at this. All right, so let me give you a little tour. I am bed number 15. Everybody gets a bed. Actually, let me get down here. All right, <clears throat> so it's about four in the morning. With priority pass, you get three hours. That's standard, and it comes with your priority pass, so it's free. Otherwise, it's 11 euros per hour at nighttime and eight euros per hour during the daytime. All right, let me give you a, a full tour. This is my pod here. And if you lift up here, <clears throat> this is where you store your luggage underneath, check. And apparently you just put your shoes outside the pod. And then inside the pod's very basic. You have a cable set up here, and you have a small pillow set up there, and that's really it. Take my shoes off here, I guess. Put them right here. Now, you can also get a pillow and a blanket, and that is an extra charge, but actually, I fit pretty well, considering. Not too bad. This keeps coming off. Mm. Ah. Okay, that comes off. All right. You got the cleaning lady over there. Okay. Whew. So that's the pod here. Um, somewhat soundproof. I guess that doesn't make sense. Somewhat soundproof, huh? All right, the walls are almost like a wool, and then the sheet over the top is almost like, you know when you have to put a, a strap or a cloth over your shoes if you're going into a fancy place or something? This is what that material feels like, very cheap. And then this, sorry for the weird angles. And then this closes. Oh, there's a little, Breathing holes here. That goes. Okay, almost all the way. Okay, almost all the way down. Not completely down. Okay, can you see me? All right, it's small little breathing holes. And it almost goes all the way down. There's no wake up service so you're on your own you gotta set your own alarm for wake ups it's a little claustrophobic in here to be honest <laughs> it feels like i'm kind of in a a comfortable coffin you do have these little holes that you can see out of so it's not completely trapped in but definitely warm in here maybe i'm just up and moving around a lot so i, I just take a minute to slow down but not like a true capsule hotel. I've stayed in capsule hotels in Japan and they're definitely a lot more room, a lot more amenities, and you have temperature control. These are just like little sleeping coffins in the airport, but beggars can't be choosers. I mean, it has a little pillow, you can get a blanket if you want, and this is a good place to sleep. This beats the alternative of sleeping in a chair on the side of the, the gate so I'll take this for three hours to get a snooze before my flight hopefully I'll check in with you in a couple hours and go for a shower 
can really make this experience complete. Good night. For the moment. <laughs> I hope. pretty funny you wake up and you're, you're right in the terminal if only people can watch you wake up just, uh, just hundreds of people are just going good morning sunshine <laughs> overall not crazy comfortable but better as I said than sleeping in a chair somewhat noisy this morning you can hear all the announcements so I would put headphones on if it was a longer sleep that I needed I would put an eye mask on I would get the pillow and the blanket because the pillow that's in here not great it's just like a tube not really good at all but sufficient for the task at hand and since it came with a priority pass it was worth it free was worth it just was a bit of a hassle to get into the pod because it was busy and the service is not they're not overly friendly they're just doing their job so I give them credit for just, they're just doing their job everybody's just trying to do their job let's go see if we can have a shower for our flight one final step breakfast and a shower let's go back into the lounge to see if we can find that Shower. We got a disposable towel, nice. Shoes, washcloth, and looks like a hand towel. Basic sink, hair dryer, me, and space for all your things, and then a nice big shower. Oh, yes, with some soap there. Not bad. Aside from these slippers being very slippery, that was a very good shower, good water pressure. I could change the temperature as well. I don't love the single use plastics and single use throwaway slippers, towels, and washing cloths. Next time I'd bring my own, but otherwise, that was good. All right, time for one little quick breakfast. Before I have to go board my flight, I got cucumbers, eggs, and this cheesy pastry here. I'm not really sure what this is. Oh, that's good. That's like a cheesy spanakopita. Oh man. The dough is almost like like uh, noodles. Delicious. Is this burek? Is this what I'll have in Croatia? I hope so. And just like that, I'm off to find my gate, D10 I believe, and catch my flight to Zagreb, Croatia, where we will begin a three-week road trip adventure Four people in a small VW Polo going from Zagreb all the way across the country to Dubrovnik. So stay tuned for that. It should be full of adventure, fun, lots of food, and learning about Croatia for the first time. This will be my first trip there. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video showing you the sleep pods here at Istanbul Airport as well as the lounge experience. Eight hours overnight. I'm refreshed, feeling good actually. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for this Croatia series. Just like that.
see you guys next week. Red's going, you just let it roll. It's just a video. Is there anything more frustrating than when you peel a hard boiled egg and all of the white comes off? I mean, in the same token, is there anything more satisfying than when you peel an egg, a hard boiled egg, and it all just comes off perfectly? It's the little things, you know? I do absolutely feel like a zombie walking through this airport now. Like I just spawned out from a sci-fi movie. And I have a secret that I'm not telling anyone. That's how it feels walking through the, the terminal now that I've slept for a couple hours in the pods. I feel like a robot sent back in time on a mission for a continental breakfast. <laughs> mm -hmm.